The cord is a three-wire, 16-gauge cord. Power cords tend to receive lots of abuse. The cord can be cut, nicked, internally damaged, or have the prongs broken off. A damaged cord should be immediately replaced to avoid an electric shock. Replacing the cord is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing one half of the handle. Now I have access to the wire connections, and I can go ahead and remove the old cord. First I'll remove the strain relief. I'll disconnect the connections for the white and black wires. As well as the ground wire. and I'll remove the cord from the cord protector. Now I can install the new cord. I'll use the old cord as a guide to prep the new one. First, I'll need to strip back some of the outer insulation. I'll line up the two grounding wires and mark the length for the cord. I'll use a knife to carefully cut only the outer insulation. I'll remove the reinforcement cords, and now I can cut the wires to length. I'll thread the new cord through the cord protector. Next I'll strip back about a quarter inch of insulation from each of the wires. I'll twist the white and black wires, and on the green wire I'll need to install a new eyelet. Now I'll reconnect the cord. I'll start with the ground wire. And then the white and black. I'll pull the terminal block away from the housing to make it easier to insert the wires. Just insert them back into the terminal block and tighten the screw. I'll place the terminal block back into the housing, followed by the cord protector. I'll push the cord into the handle until I have enough of the outer insulation for the cord clamp to clamp onto. And then I'll secure the cord with the cord clamp. And I'll make sure I have the wires tucked away so they don't get pinched when I reinstall the other half of the handle. 
and I'll finish by reinstalling the handle. And that's how you can replace the cord on your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.